Welcome to Maintenance 103, Disk Shelf I.O. Module Replacement. The building block videos are targeted at EP and partner engineers as well as do-it-yourself customers. Always consult the most recent documentation before starting any work. To replace a shelf module, the first step is to verify the shelf cabling is healthy and will not make the situation worse when we remove the shelf module. When we feel comfortable the shelf module is the only issue with the system, we will disconnect all the cables attached to the faulty shelf module, pull out the shelf module, and replace it with a new one. After we reconnect all the cables, we use the Config Advisor tool again to ensure we cabled everything correctly and to verify the shelf module solved the problem. Place the failed module in the shipping box and return it to NetApp. For NetApp and Partner Services Engineers, fill out a service engagement report or a trip report. If the ACP and SAS cables are not labeled, take this opportunity to apply labels. Remove the ACP cables and set them aside. Then remove the SAS cables and set them aside. Gently push the connector in before pulling the release tab to prevent damage to the cable and the SAS port. Release the locking mechanism and pull out the shelf module. Insert the new shelf module and ensure it is fully seated. Reattach the SAS cables and ensure they are seated properly and click into place. Reattach the ACP cables. Run the Config Advisor tool to verify cabling is correct. The Cabling tab of the Config Advisor tool should show all the cabling connections are green for good.